Good morning, it is Vlogmas Day 12, and I am Shayna of The Wealth Five, and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. But since it's Vlogmas, I am taking you throughout my daily life so that you can see what goes on in the day of the life of Shayna Green. Okay, so I am... 80% dressed <laughs> for my interview, have my hair done, makeup done, and I just kind of have on like, um, I don't know, gym clothes or whatever. I have my suit and stuff that I'm going to just pack in the car, and I am running about 15 minutes behind schedule. However, I am way early <laughs> for my interview. It's currently about 8.15 right now in the morning, and I'm about to head out so that I can, one check the tire pressure in my tires and then i can head on the road to atlanta so that i can do a few errands before my interview so i'm about to pack up my car right now and then head out i am so frustrated with these gas stations this morning one gas station didn't have their gas their air thing was out of order and then the other one I go in to ask for quarters and she was like, we don't give cash back. You don't give cash back so that I can purchase at your own gas station? Okay. <laughs> so here I am going to the third gas station. Um, and really it's the fourth time trying to find air because I thought that the apartment, they have a vacuum. And so I thought that they had... Um, air as well but it was only um it was only vacuum okay let's see what this one time about oh thank god this one has a um a atm on it or a swipe card machine thing okay Explain to me how it's possible that I go and get my tires balanced, rotated, and aligned, and you leave me with 25 or 20 PSI on my tires. Why didn't y'all put air in my tires? Isn't that a part of the tire service? I don't get it. I'm definitely about to call up there and complain because why do y'all have me driving on 20 PSI when the recommendation is 30, 32? The difference in how we get dressed in the morning put me behind schedule a little bit because I had to wait around and do things without the light and fumble around trying to find stuff or whatever and, or waiting for him to like go into a different room so I could turn on the lights. <laughs> so it's just, I guess, a blessing that we typically don't have to get dressed in the morning together. And it's kind of funny, too, to see his energy, how his energy is different, because we woke up at the exact same time, but I think by the time he left the house, I was, like, ready with full energy to attack, attack the day. <laughs> and he was still moping around. And I would say that we're both not morning people. Like, I don't um, necessarily like to wake up in the morning or anything, but... Um, yeah. Oh, I do like to wake up in the morning. Don't say, let me not say that. I don't prefer waking, waking up early in the morning. Definitely do want to wake up in the morning, okay? Amen. Thank God I woke up this morning. to Atlanta and I'm actually at Phipps Plaza because I have some Tiffany jewelry that I bought back in college that I wanted to be able to wear to this interview. I've, every time I come to Atlanta in the past few weeks, I've come to Phipps Plaza to try and get the jewelry cleaned. However, either they're closed or um, it just wouldn't have made sense time-wise because it takes two hours for the jewelry to get clean. And now, since I was a little late leaving Columbus, I probably won't be able to pick it up before my interview. But I'm going to just go ahead and get it clean today. That way I don't have to worry about it 
um, in the future. But I just want to let you know about this podcast that I listened to today. So I normally listen to Jamila Souffrant's Journey to Launch podcast. And, but this episode, it came out December 4th, yeah, December 4th, and it is the Don't Keep Your Day Job podcast, and I think the lady who she's interviewing on that episode, that's the name of her her podcast, Don't Keep Your Job, but it was so good. Like, now I want to listen to um, that lady's podcast, and I thought it was good after, or confirmation because that lady took the same course that me and my boyfriend took on how to create the real estate course that we're developing and she said she made a million dollars by following the same steps so shoot hopefully we can (laughs) have somewhat of a similar or even better um outcome i know that a lot of people who have taken that course have had a lot of success so it was just really reassuring to hear another person say that they followed everything and they were able to make a million dollars off of that course so we're in good company. But anyway, let me hurry up and go into FIP so that way I can maybe get this jewelry back before my interview. So that did not work out like I expected. This time they were like, oh, it's a 48 hour turnaround. And I actually do kind of remember them saying a 48 hour turnaround last time, but because I told them that I wanted to wear the jewelry that day, they were like, well, it takes a minimum of two hours to get it done. And so I told her, I was like, well, Y'all told me that it takes two hours and that you can do it in the same day um, before. And so she was like, well, we have a lot of um, out of town uh, people coming to get their stuff clean and stuff like that. I was like, I'm out of town as well. (laughs) So I was like, I would like to just pick it up in the same day because I don't know when I'll be able to pick it up again or whatever. And so she um, got them to do it the same day, but I won't be able to pick it up until 4 p.m. So... No jewelry to wear to this interview, again. But anyway, now I'm about to head to my storage unit. On Tuesday, I am going to my hometown of Miami for the Christmas break. But obviously, I need clothes that are weather appropriate for that trip. It's going to be in the 70s and 80s while in Miami. So I need to get some warmer clothes to take with me. And all my warm clothes are in my storage unit on this rack here. So I'm here to um, pack this suitcase of things that I can take with me. currently at an apartment building I'm about to go view the apartments at this building It's relatively close to both places that the place that I'm going to interview at today and the place that I got an offer for the other day so um, I know I'm being a little hasty (laughs) but my mom is always like this and so I've picked it up from her I can tell her like hey mom I found a job online a posting and she'll start looking up like how much the houses cost in that area which are the best zip codes (laughs) and everything (laughs) but I'm not as bad as her but um I mean I do have to start looking for where I do where I want to live um very soon so I'm gonna go in here um, I have like an hour and 15 minutes before my interview. Super close to where I'm going. <laughs> so um, I'm about to go check out this apartment and see how it is. So the, um, what's it called? The dishwasher, garbage disposal. This is my favorite part about the left is it's the undercoating and lighting. It's above and below. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. 
Yeah, and you can definitely tell all the lighting is tremendous. Oh my god, is that the um the Osmo pocket? The Osmo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My um boyfriend got it for me for Christmas so last cool. year. So I'm gonna take a video so you can see. So all except for the B2, I guess the B2 is kind of like not for roommates though. B2 is a little unusual. Two has that. To be honest, I personally it's not my favorite one. Mm -hmm. It has this uh, corner kind of makes the apartment. A lot of people do enjoy it, um, but if it fit a, lot, uh, a big bed in there, it's not gonna fit. Oh, okay, yeah. no. So a big bed won't fit in there. Queen size, I think, is the maximum that'll that'll hold for your queen size. And that's for all of the rooms. A queen size is kind of like the ideal size. The queen size? No, no, no. I mean, you can definitely put a king size in here. It's just like a suggestion. Yeah. Don't put anything in front of it. And the other one is. Are the rooms smaller or no? I guess I'll the, see. The rooms are pretty. This is a pretty standard size of what the rooms are gonna look like, except for that B two is the only one that has an unusual bedroom. Okay. Uh, but every every other one is gonna have a pretty similar appointment. Okay. I like it, I like it, I like it. What about parking? So I finished the apartment tour. I really love that apartment. And it's so close to the job that I really want. So I actually went and changed my clothes. And I have a few minutes before I have to go in for the interview. This interview is going to be four hours long. I have um, meetings with five or six different people all for about 45 minutes each and so hopefully this is the last interview and i will get this job i'm super excited about it so um pray for me <laughs> although by the time you watch this um the interview will have been over but please pray for me that i get this job i really really want it so i'm about to go in there I have to change my shoes and then go in there. Interview is done and I killed it. Especially with the first two people. I built up so much rapport with them. And then the last two interviews were with three people. They were a bit more serious, but still killed it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm over here eating on my snacks. The tip that I have for like very long interviews, they're like several hours or the whole day. You want to make sure that you bring your own water and your own snacks. So, I actually, what did I just do with that? I don't know what I just did with Oh, I put it down here. So I actually brought like some pretzels and this bottle of water. And I drank half of the bottle of water during the interview. But I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna have a job, I'm gonna job, have a job job. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just, really happy about everybody that I met and it's gonna be an area for me to grow in and i'm just super excited about it so i'm about to actually get something to eat because i actually have not eaten all day aside from these little pretzels so i'm about to get something to eat and then um head back to columbus because we might be going to an event tonight that's hosted by the urban league um but my boyfriend said that he's not sure if he wants to go because he, we're supposed to be filming the course tomorrow. So he's kind of feeling like he wants to sit up and make sure everything is like good to go. But I want to go out. So, um, and it's supposed to be everything free and whatnot. So I'm just like, why not go out? Well, we'll see. Also, by the time I get there. So I'm about to head out now. I want to change my clothes. I don't know where I should change my clothes at. Maybe wherever I get food. I got something to eat, but I completely forgot about my jewelry. So I went south to get something to eat, only to have to backtrack up north <laughs> to pick up my jewelry. And so now I'm headed back south so I can go home. Um, but yeah, I just picked up my Tiffany's jewelry and I was like, ooh, is this my stuff? <laughs> my bracelet and my earring were so tarnished that I literally was like, wow, did I just buy something new? Like, I'm so glad I got that clean. I haven't had that cleaned in years, years. It looks so good. Uh-oh, let me show it to y'all. Oh, that's the wrong pouch. I should have shown y'all before what it looked like, but yeah, it's like shining bright <laughs> like silver. 
But yeah, I have, um, this is a bracelet and then I have the matching earrings. That's what I was hoping to wear today to my interview. Cause it's real classy based, you know? But Tiffany's was hating, didn't want to give me my stuff in two hours. But I think I'm gonna start wearing it again. Especially when I start to work again or whatever. And just so I can get my money's worth out of it. Cause I haven't worn it in years. It's not that expensive. When you think about Tiffany's, you kind of think like, oh, super expensive. I feel like it was under $200 for the bracelet. And then under $100 for the earrings. But I bought this like over 10 years ago. Yeah, over 10 years ago. Because I bought it either my junior or senior year of college. And I graduated college in 2009. In May 2009. And so we're about to enter 2020. So I've at least had it for a little over 10 uh, maybe 11 years and it's going to take me two hours and 20 minutes to get home it usually takes an hour and a half to get up here I'm so disappointed in myself because I would have probably got home within the six o'clock hour had I not had to backtrack up to Tiffany's got this for free at the leasing office we about to hit the town babe Get paid, little shorty, get paid Hundred thousand in the safe, couple thousand in the drain in the drain. Get paid, little shorty, get paid no. Dante in the house So we're back home after hitting the Columbus club scene And thank you for joining me from sun up till sundown But that's it for Vlogmas Day 12 And I'll see you tomorrow